Here we are, forward starboard on this 2003 Sea Ray Sundancer, getting a view of some great lines of her. Here at the bow, we see we've got covered anchor locker, 10 kilo claw anchor, windlass, foot pedals right there. Coming down along the port side, we get an idea of how well cared for this boat is. You can see the sheen. This is what I call a LLI, ladies like it feature. That deck is just big begging for a nice large sun pack. Down along the side here, we see we've got fairly good walkway and grab rails there for safety as we maneuver. We've got a full enclosure on this boat. We can see the forward windows are the Macrolon. Here we've got our Sea Ray badge right here. Place for rod holders. <laughs> and a little deck bar right there. Here at the transom, we see we've got an extended swim platform. A nice step right here makes boarding easy. Once aboard the swim step, we see we've got some great features. Under that hatch, we have a four-step boarding ladder. There is a bait tank, which we have removed currently, nicely plumbed. And all by right here, we've got trunk storage for lines, fenders, and that's where our connections are. As we enter the vessel through this port side door, we have a hot and cold shower. Immediately to starboard, we have that large U-shaped seating for about six or eight folks. Off to port, we've got a full wet bar with a refrigerator down below. Moving forward, we have another LLI, ladies like it, port chaise seating. Our helm here is raised, double wide with thigh rise bolsters, and below we have easy access to batteries right there. Up one step to the helm, and there we have our command and control center. We have an ICOM VHF radio with the AIS, GPS map 710. Touch plate electronics here. Got our radar gauge right there. Our Simrad autopilot. Dual shift, dual throttles. On the upper level, we have our four in one gauges, twin tacks, engine sink, and then our other gauges there. Got a compass and a center line automatic vent. This is the view from the helm. As you can see, you've got visibility all the way around to dock. This is gonna give us an overview of the cockpit, and there we are. From here, we're gonna check out the engines. Got a nice engine hatch here with the touch of a button. Up she goes. You don't even have to move the table. You do have to make sure the door is closed. Once we have that hatch fully open, we have great access into the engine compartment. Right in front of us, we see we've got the Merck Cruiser 350 MPI mags with freshwater cooling and V drives. We've got batteries off to starboard. Looks like we've got three of them. Fuel tanks right there. Good exhaust systems. Our Kohler generator right in the back there along with our documentation number. Holding tank system is off to the port side. 
along with our hot water. These 350 mags have low hours and appear to have been very well cared for. After our quick engine room inspection, just touch the button and down we go. to the fore deck is nice and easy up a step and down the walkway right here sea rays concern for safety we had a grab rail right there and then out to this super deck right here great place to lay out relax enjoy the view here at the fore deck there's our windlass and foot pedals right there this is going to give us an overview, looking aft on the boat. We enter the cabin of this 320 Sea Ray Sundancer through a center sliding door and down a few steps. As you can see right in front of us, we have the full expansive cabin with over six feet of headroom. Immediately inside, for easy access from both the interior and exterior, we have a fully lined fiberglass head here, vacuum flush system, and a pull-out shower. There's a fan in there also. Coming down along the port side, we see we have our galley with refrigerator below, drawer storage, lower cabinet. We've got a nice Corian countertop and a dual burner electric stove. Up above, we have our microwave oven, different light switches, a fan, and more storage area right up here. Got a formed in fiberglass sink. And then as we move forward, we've got a separate TV. This area here is the master sleeping area it's over seven feet long we see we have gunnel storage along the sides a hatch overhead with a shade and a screen more storage and then as we come down along the side we have our hanging locker this is our privacy curtain nice little step here to help us get into the bed and then here we have the sofa. We have the dining room table removed right now. Gunnel storage above. Sleeper below and dinette table. This actually pulls out so we can put another couple there. Moving aft, we see Sea Ray's done a very nice job. Upgraded vinyl interior ultra leather upholstery and then stepping into the aft area we see we've got a, our mid cabin right there that becomes a sleeping area also just pull that out it's nice and open with the see-through steps there we've got lots of storage here right over here we have our power panel AC DC generator start and then a fusion stereo system right there. This 320 Sea Ray shows pride of ownership, neat, clean, odor free, very rich looking. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.